I'm going to show you a video uh, which comes from the Apache Indians and it involves uh, the, the transition of young women, uh, girls to young women. And I think what's interesting is I want you to look here for the separation, the transition, which is obviously, obviously the focus of the video, and then the incorporation that you see here. Uh, just this is just to remind you of the structure. If you want some other examples, um, you can also look up on YouTube uh, the bullet ant test, which is an Amazonian uh, tradition, basically rite of passage for young men. Uh, the Fulani uh, whipping match, which is a comes from Benin in Africa. Um, those are pretty extreme, as are the South Pacific land divers. Um, so you can look up all of those if you want other examples of this, but I'm going to show you this particular one because I think it is uh, a particularly compelling one and also shows you that rites of passage happen for women as well as, well as for men in uh, basic religion. So here we go. And what I want you to look for here is, uh, again, the, uh, the separation, transition, and incorporation that you see here. Beneath White Mountain in New Mexico, the Mescalero Apache Reservation prepares for a coming-of-age ritual. Over the span of four days, 13-year-old Dashina Cochise will pass through ancient tests of strength, endurance, and character that will make her a woman. The Mescalero Apache hold the ritual every 4th of July. It's a grueling ordeal intended to prepare girls for the trials of womanhood. When she was a little girl, I knew this is what I wanted to have for her. Dashina's mother, Millette, has spent more than a year preparing for this week of ceremony. Family members and friends will help her feed and care for more than 50 guests. The family's most important task is selecting Dashina's medicine woman. Zelda Yaza will instruct Dashina in the ways of traditional Apache womanhood. The four-day ceremony encapsulates the Apache creation story. Dashina will move through the stages of life. Infant. Child. Adolescent. Woman. Culminating in an all-night dance that will test her endurance. The ritual begins with the rising of the morning star. The ceremony requires Dashina to live by strict rules. These four days mean little sleep, scant food, and the need to set aside emotion. Throughout the ordeal, she must wear a face of stoic resolve. Before Dashina joins the other girls, she is blessed, dusted with pollen, the symbol of fertility. The girls start their journey in a sacred teepee built by their male relatives. The basket is filled with pollen and other ceremonial objects. As their ancestors did, the girls run toward the rising sun, circling the basket four times to mark the four stages of life. The fourth and final day brings Dashina to the cusp of womanhood. She ascends the hill to pray to the mountain spirits for a long and successful life. With darkness near, it's time to dance beside the ceremonial fire. Dashina and the other girls will dance all night long, much of the time hidden in the big teepee. More than 10 hours later, Dashina is still dancing. The medicine men greet the sun, a signal that the final test is near. 
The girls' faces are painted with white clay, symbolizing the goddess. On their last circuit around the sacred basket, the girls wipe away the symbolic clay. With the falling of the teepee, their rite of passage is complete. Dashina receives her Apache woman's name, Morning Star Feather. Morning Star Feather. Morning Star Feather. Everything went well. She's just going to be a strong woman. Her community gathers, acknowledging that this girl has earned the right to live as a woman of the tribe. As an Apache woman, Dashina serves as a symbol of her culture, renewing and protecting a way of life that's in danger of vanishing. So if you've watched all three videos, you will uh, remember that you are, I'm asking you to think about how all of these things contribute to not only the change in the individual, but also in the uh, identification of the individual to the larger tribe. And if you have time, I do a little bit of writing uh, that will help you out with that. And uh, you can put it in classroom. Probably the easiest way to do it is just put it in the classroom comments of assignment 1.5.